Hello to the best subscribers and viewers in the world. Stuart Mac Adam here, and I'm super excited to show you today how to set up a video plays campaign like the one you are seeing me hover past right now. Just before we get started, though, don't forget to hit that like button for support, and let's get into it. So the first thing that you want to do is go over to the green create button in the left hand corner. Click on it and that is then going to bring up the different campaign objectives available. For this one, we want to go after engagement. We want to click on it and you will then see the engagement metrics available are the messenger apps and video views just underneath it. That's just what we want. For now, we will name our campaign later. Let's just select continue. That is then going to bring up the draft campaign set up and format for us. Most important thing that you want to look for right now is scroll down and have a look at the campaign name. And let's just give this a new name so that it is visible. We then want to go into the ad set on the left hand side. And that is then going to give us a chance to give it another name. And now we're going to have a look at the overall conversion location. For this one, it's very important to look for the on your ad option. And I'm going to zoom in. It's just underneath the messaging apps. Click on that and wait until it, the blue button appears on it. Zoom out and let's look for the engagement type. Let's open it up and select video views. Once we have done that, we can then enter the daily budget into it. I recommend initially we go on a small budget. You can always increase it as time goes on. Zooming down to the next section, let's keep it as broad as we possibly can with one interest, people that are interested in business. That is our target market that we are after. And let's go over to the ad section right underneath the ad set in the left hand corner. Now, if you are running multiple uh, ads for different businesses that you may have or for someone else, make sure that you always have the right Facebook page and Instagram account. We want to scroll down until we see Ad Creative and let's find the video that we want to share in this particular example. Right here, I've got a couple of different options available and we're going to select a cold based one, which is educational. You want to make sure that the formatting is set up in line with how the video um, resolution is. And once we've done that, let's select done. Cool. We're now coming towards the tail end of setting up this campaign. We now want to go after the primary text. Awesome. You can now see the ad looking like that. However, one thing that is quite obvious right now, if we zoom in, you can see the general appearance isn't the most attractive. So let's go and dig out a nice looking thumbnail by selecting edit media and then edit video. We want to go down until we see thumbnail. This will allow us to choose the automatic one, which is the default setting we saw before and the manual one. Manual one then allows us to choose an uploaded image that we can choose from right over here. We have got a couple of different options here, including the owner of this particular business as a thumbnail option. But let's go down a little bit more and see if we can find the original thumbnail that was on this video. Cool. There it is. Ads for an electrical company. Let's select continue. And here we go. We have now have the ads for the electrical company. Let's select save and we can now go and have a look at how this comes up as an ad. And boom, that looks a lot better. Once all of that is done, we can make our final checks to make sure that the tracking is set up properly. Make sure we have the right pixel. And we also want to do a final check on the budget, the conversion location, the engagement type, and also the targeting and location too. All of that looks to be fine. We don't want to select any manual placements because we just want to see where the ads show up in the first place. 
and we want to optimize for a through play because a through play is a higher quality traffic person and is more likely to be interested in what our video is about. Now that that's all been checked, let's go back to the ad and hit that publish button. And once the button has been carried through to the publishing stage, you just need to wait until it hits three out of three and boom, congratulations, multiple items have now been published and your ad is pending approval. It should be approved within 24 hours. And that everybody is how easy it is to set up a video engagement ad on Facebook. I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget once again to hit that thumbs up button. And if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.